One of the most frustrating limitations of Firebase is that you can only host one website per project. Well, at least that was the case until they announced multi-site hosting on August 21st, which also happens to be my birthday. And this is an awesome birthday present because it solves many of the problems that I've run into in the past. For example, I've had situations where I need an admin site and a public-facing site that both share the same database and cloud functions. And I've also run into the same problem with internationalization where I have different versions of my app for the languages that I support. In today's video, you'll learn how to solve these problems by deploying multiple progressive web apps to a single Firebase project. If you're new here, like and subscribe, and grab the full source code from angularfirebase.com. In this video, I'm using Angular's internationalization library to create different builds for my app based on the languages that I support. I'll cover this in a future video, but the end result is that in your dist folder, you'll have multiple builds for the different languages. For example, here we have the default English plus Spanish and French. At this point, we don't have Firebase set up, so let's go ahead and do that and see if we can get these three different apps deployed to the same Firebase project, each on their own unique URL. The first step is to make sure that we're updated on Firebase tools to version 4.2 or greater. So run npm i flag g for global and Firebase tools at latest. Then run Firebase version just to double check that you're at 4.2. From there, we'll run Firebase init hosting just to set up hosting in this project. Then instead of the public folder, we'll want to point to the dist folder with our default app, which is just our English app in this case. We can say yes to single page app, and then we don't want to overwrite any of our existing code. Running this command gives us a firebase.json config file that we can use to set up our multi-site hosting. You'll notice that the hosting property is currently an object. Let's highlight it and add brackets to switch it to an array. Then we'll need to add an additional property to each hosting object called target. The target just needs to be a unique name that we can choose, and it's used by Firebase to determine which code to deploy where. For example, the English target will get deployed from the code that lives in the dist folder for the default app. Now in this example, we have three different Angular apps, so we can just copy and paste each object and change out the target and the public directory, and that's all we need to do to configure it on this end. But the cool thing about this is that we can configure our own rules and rewrites for each hosted URL. So you might have a multi-page application with static content for your blog, and then a highly interactive Angular app for your actual user dashboard. It just adds a ton of flexibility to your Firebase projects. So now that we have our hosting configuration done, we need to associate the targets with an actual URL on Firebase hosting. So I'm going to type out the command Firebase target colon apply hosting, and then I'll take our English target and apply it to a hosting resource that we've already set up on the Firebase console. As you can see here, I've already configured multiple hosting resources for my project, but adding an additional site is as easy as going to the hosting tab and clicking add another site and choosing a unique URL for it. And for each site you set up, you can also apply a custom domain and you can manage the versions of the deployed site one by one. Now that we have that set up, we can go back into the command line, and the final argument to our command is just the URL that we set up on the console. In other words, you're connecting your local code and file system to the remote Firebase URL, so the CLI tools know where to deploy your code. We'll need to do that for each target in the config, and then we can just run Firebase deploy only hosting, and it will deploy all three of these apps together. And just as a side note, version 4.2 of Firebase Tools will also only deploy files that have changed on your local file system, which will give you much faster deployments on larger projects. Now that that's done, you can see we have three different unique hosting URLs, each one with its own Angular app deployed to it. And you can also deploy your apps individually if only one of these builds actually changed. Multi-site hosting just adds a lot more flexibility to a Firebase project, especially when you have shared resources among multiple front-end applications, which I find to be a very, very common thing in the real world. I'm going to wrap things up there. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe. And if you want to get really good at building cross-platform apps with Firebase, consider becoming a pro member at angularfirebase.com. You'll get free access to my full courses, plus a whole bunch of exclusive content. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.